Uh, hello and welcome to I'm Doing Too Much and I'm Losing My Mind. Um, I'm Beth. I'm just here to, you know, craft um, and, and probably talk. Well, well, actually not a probably, it's certainly. I'm here to talk. <laughs> I'm here to talk and craft. So, my cousin's birthday is coming up in two days. I invited him over and I... I have all this stuff I'm doing for the library, and then so like, I don't know what I was thinking, I was like, I'm gonna make it nice, we're gonna have some decor, it's gonna be like fun for him to come over, and like, now I feel slammed, I'm like, how does like, like, like there's nothing, and things are chill, and like I have time to do stuff, and then like everything happens at once, like there's no in between, there's no like, things can just play out normally, no, 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 we have to have everything just like, and then, like, it's all there. You all have to do everything. Anyway, that's just me, I guess, slightly complaining. It's I'm not really complaining because I got myself into this mess. And I want to do it. So, my cousin's birthday. Um, he's a Leo. So, I was trying to think of, like, I could make a, a big banner with, like, his constellation on it. or And, or, like, uh, I was thinking garlands would be cool. Uh, do I have... I do not. I was thinking of doing garlands, like, if I make, you know, Leo, like, if I make some lion heads, and then, uh, you know, like, guns and brass knuckles, and then if I can, like, make a, what what are they called? Usually when you hang them in the doorway, and they're, like, long, dangly things. I don't know, whatever. I was thinking that. Um, but I wouldn't put it in front of the door, because that would be annoying, but... I have a spot I think I can hang it on the ceiling because I forgot to bring it up here but I have a big a big stick um, and that's what I'm gonna hang my my garland on because um, uh, you know that's what I had on hand that's what I'm using so garlands were on my mind and to bear in mind I have two days I have two days to do this why do I do this to myself it's today tomorrow and then at crack of dawn I'm gonna be up because that's when his shift ends and he's I think he's gonna come over straight over I had that and then uh my one character named buddy dead he likes him and so I was thinking I could make some fun little things based off of buddy dead and one of the things I had in here I, I haven't come up with like a name for it yet this is probably super corny and I don't even know if like he'll think it's funny or not but I was thinking buddy's birthday I had Buddy's birthday bash, but it's not his birthday, so that won't work. But I was thinking they, you can see, kind of see here. Sorry, I'm turning it sideways because you can't really see. No, I'll turn it upright. Uh, like coins and um, like the funny like jokes or something might be in the back of the one with the laughing mouth, and then lore, obviously lore about Buddy Dead, little snippets, and then quotes, quotes by Buddy Dead. Uh, but then I was remembering he also likes my character, Troy, who happens to be over here. That This is not like a confirmed design for his monstery look, but uh, I thought it would be cool. Maybe I could make something like that. And on this other page, I did have... It, it's so shoddy, and I don't like the, the poses look too stiff, but it's just a rough draft. Anyways, thinking of making a cardboard cutout of Buddy Dead... You know, he kills monsters, he uses guns, he wears suits, he's a cool guy, I guess. He's like a jokester. Uh, my sister has said he reminds her of Deadpool, and I was like, great, whatever. Can't escape character comparisons when you're an artist, a character creator, whatever. It's always going to be there. Anyways, that's who Buddy Dead kind of is, so I thought it'd be funny to have the cartoonish flags come out of the guns that say, Happy Birthday. That was my, that was my idea, or ideas. I don't, I don't think he's like super into astrology, but I think he's okay with it. Like that would, might be fun to add. Uh, but again, I'm undecided. I think I'm, I'm considering starting with some of these coins, which, oh, I'm just thinking I'm probably gonna have to have a template. Which cardboard do I want to use? You might be thinking, why not just use any cardboard? Well, 
I prefer a certain thickness. Now, since I have only two days, um, I'm not really gonna make a template for this. Or should I? Should all of my pieces be the same size? Gosh, dang it, why do I do this to myself? Oh, so what I'm going to do, now I, in theory, I feel like this should give me an even circle. No, never mind, no it won't, but maybe a little bit, like slightly more even than like if I just try to cut it out, my, like wing it. Honestly, everybody, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm recording, I feel like I can barely function. I've been cleaning all day and I'm losing it. I know, I need to break up these craft videos because I still want to be posting like my stories and whatnot. So sometimes I think about, should I like have a separate channel for my other stuff? But that just sounds like so much business. I'm like, why can't I post everything right here? But I know like as a viewer, even me like liking consistency. I don't know, that's not what I want. Oh, so even though I should talk about breaking up my crafts, I have another idea I think I'm gonna do soon. Um, I want to make my own like pendulum and pendulum board. I don't know if that's like taboo, like are you supposed to do that? I don't know, but I want to make one so I might. Well not I might, I'm going to one way or another. It just depends if I'm going to record it. Which I feel like I, I think I will. Sometimes I feel like I need more to talk about because I just come on here and lately it's kind of like I do the craft, I speed it up on my video editor, whatever the frick, iMovie, there we go, and then, <laughs> and then I post it, and I'm like, there was, I don't even know if that was worth it, that, that was kind of my stamp of video, I'm like, is this even, like, is this pointless to be posting this, I don't know, so, um, since this is all I talk about, why not talk about it more, I got some more seeds, and not, not hot pepper seeds, not this time, I got mulberry seeds, that was one of the trees we had to cut down. I, I felt, this sounds so tree huggery, but I felt, I felt bad for the tree, okay? It was small and it just like produced fruit this year, but like it picked the worst spot to grow. I don't know how it got there, but it was like almost hanging over the road. Um, so we couldn't keep it there. Uh, it had to be cut down and so I saved some of the wood. That's one of the, the sticks I'll be using for hopefully the garland or something. Um, so I, I'm trying to like put pieces of it to use to like, you know, it still kind of lives on, but whatever. Anyway, I'm dumb and felt sad about it. And I was like, I'm gonna buy mulberry seeds and plant a different one. At this point, I think I'm gonna have too many trees in my yard. Not really though, because I don't like these Snoopy neighbors that we have. Well, I shouldn't say it's my neighbors. It's not my neighbors, but it's someone in the neighborhood. I just, you know, I don't know if it's just curiosity or what, but I feel like anyone, like people who drive by and they just like, like stare out in their yard as they're driving by, like, and I can be sitting on the, out in the backyard and they just like, no shame, just looking around, just staring into my yard. I'm like, what are you doing? If I can't build that wall, I'm at least going to plant as many trees as possible. And maybe by the time I'm 60, they'll have enough coverage that those dang kids won't be looking at my yard anymore. Actually, it's not even the kids. I feel like it's grown-ass adults and they're just... I'm just I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stare at my window, look at these people in their yard, and not look away. Make full eye contact. Keep looking, keep looking. My head's turning as I'm driving away, still watching them. Why? Like, I understand, like, a curious glance or whatever, but, like, just full-on staring, like, the whole time you're driving past, it's weird. So if you do that, you're weird. I'm sorry. But I'm actually not. Like, stop it. I'm cutting these out, and I actually don't know how many I'm going to make. I don't know if I clarified that. I thought it would be cool if I did, like, a dish full of these, these coin, these, these coins these coins and these quotes and whatever else I, I said, I don't even remember. Um, I thought that would be cool. So that being said, where I was going with that thought was um, uh, I was gonna have a lot of these, <laughs> or I was, I was hoping to, 
but I should also probably try to rein myself in a little bit because again, two days, very minimal time here. Uh, the, the time, it just keeps, go it goes so fast. Like I spent all day cleaning and then I can finally sit down and do my stuff and then the day is basically gone. I, I can't even like fully focus on this because or fu fully immerse myself because my day's still not done like I still have stuff to do but I just thought in between here really quick uh I'm just going to at least start the craft start some of this recording so I have content for next week yeah which by the way this won't be a spoiler if my cousin watches this because um my stamp video is lined up for this week or last week I should say by the time you see this uh, and I'm hoping this one will be the week after, or um, maybe I can have another Reap What You Sew chapter up. I, I realize there's another stupid line I missed, so I have to have my friend come over again so he can he can record that one missed line with Ari Sishthan, and then, yeah, that's basically it. I just, I need that one line so I can post the next chapter. So how many of these am I making? I don't really know. Ideally, a ton. I'd love a whole huge dish full, but maybe being a little more realistic, if I did two, two of each, that sounds really lame though. I don't know. Maybe it'll be uneven. Who wants to count out how many things I make? Holy cow. Okay, we're just gonna work with that for now. That's not nearly as many as I want, but um, we're gonna see how long these take because again, I have other stuff I would like to do. This is just part of it, just, just for funsies. Maybe I won't use like a bowl full of it because I'm dumb. Like me and my cousin are both adults, but I was thinking maybe we could do like a fun trivia game with Buddy Dead or something. I, I don't know. I, I think way too much about this stuff. So maybe I'll just like, I could always just add these on the garland. Uh, that would actually probably save me time so, I'm, so I have some of the pieces. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's just start with this. Where's my template? What? Who? No, Beth! No, no! Oh, there it is. False alarm, everything's fine. Anyway, fun fact, speaking about Buddy Dead, he is in my story that is titled Flip, which this is the story that I started writing in 2016. It was actually based on a dream I had. And I, I really should have gotten it out sooner. Purely because of Stranger Things. Because Flip has a... It's not the same concept. It was just like... Again, at least in my dream it was like... It was Earth, but like everything was overgrown. And there were monsters roaming around. So like, it was Earth, but wrong. And so, that's why it's... I called it Flip, the flipped version of Earth. That was the theme I had, and I, I just feel like, not that anyone has to believe me, but I'm like, no one's gonna believe me that, like, I'm not copying Stranger Things. I don't know. Because I know, I haven't watched all of Stranger Things, I just watched season one. I let my mom proofread some of my stuff to help me, like, hey, does this sound good, whatever. She's like, yeah, I can kind of see how this reminded you of Stranger Things. I'm like, great, cool, 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 cool. So, anyways, that aside, I do feel like the stories are different. It's basically just that one part of the story that's like, all, all anyone's gonna ever say is like, oh, this is like Stranger Things. I bet she was inspired by Stranger Things. No. Anyways, uh, so Buddy is part of this flip universe of mine, and... He used to be... Should I say all this? I probably shouldn't have spoilers in case. This is like, you know, if I ever post my story. For a while, he's like trapped in Flip and you don't really know why he's there. Nobody does. Um, but the the main cast, a few of them, a few of the members from the main cast find Buddy. And uh, of course they're weirded out because Buddy Dead does not have a head. Like he has a, a remnant of his jawline, you know atop his neck but that that is it and so they're kind of freaking out because they live in this world full of monsters like they got sent there somehow they don't know how 
And the whole point of the story is the main cast. They're trying to find their way back to their world. Uh, but for now, they're stuck in this monster version of Earth. So all monsters are bad as far as they know. And so they see Buddy and he's like weirdly jovial and makes jokes about him not having a head. And so, you know, they're kind of put off like, what's this guy's deal? Like, does he want to kill us or something? Like, he's got guns which is unheard of in flip and somehow he has like unlimited ammo they're like where are you getting all this stuff so he's just kind of intimidating i mean i'd be intimidated of a guy without a head who's like walking around and still alive somehow so they help him out because he's trapped in a certain part of the realm and can't get out so they help lead him out um and then he kind of joins the journey for a little bit. But yeah, that's basically his personality. He's kind of goofy. Well, not kind of. He's very goofy. He's always making jokes. But he's also like someone you really don't want to get on the bad side of. Because, like, for as goofy as he is, he, he can be serious. Like, he, there are things he does take seriously, of course. He's not just a clown. But, um... He's obviously very dangerous. He's been hunting monsters, like, for years in a flip, so he knows what he's doing. He's had a lot of practice, so you would not want, well, to get on his bad side, simply put. So I personally think he's pretty cool, aside from him getting compared to Deadpool. I'm like, I don't know what to do about that. Like, I I just pictured him goofy, and somehow the, the goofiness is Deadpool-esque, apparently. Did I say apparently twice? I don't know. I feel tired because I haven't <laughs> I haven't really eaten much today. I had a little bit, but like I I'm so I was so busy like cleaning and stuff, I just I couldn't find time for a break. And it's stupid, but like it's so freaking hot. Like I just feel double exhausted. I don't know what it is about the heat that just like drains all my energy. But, you know, here we are. It's too hot. And I got a hibiscus plant not too long ago. Because uh, I, I like making hibiscus tea. Or more, more specifically, it's hibiscus tea that I mix in lemonade, and it's really good. Anyways, I thought, oh, that'd be cool if like I could dry my own hibiscus and use that for the teas. Because right now I just have a big package of dried hibiscus I ordered online. That stupid freaking truck quit driving past my yard. So anyways, hibiscus. I bought one. Uh, it, it was struggling for a little bit for a few days after I like transplanted it. So I was a little concerned. I was like, oh no, I did something wrong. So yesterday I went back out there and I... I packed the dirt down just a tiny bit just to make sure, cause you know, sometimes like when you, you know, you dig a hole, you put your new plant in there and you try to fill it in. I feel like if any air pockets are left in there, that just like dries out the dirt and the plant kind of suffers. So I was wondering if that's what happened. Um, so I packed it down just a little bit and then today they seem to be doing better. The leaves aren't so yellow. And I did pluck off the, the dead pieces of the hibiscus because, like, most of the blooms died on it. And I was like, no. I felt really bad, but I think it's doing better now. So that's all that matters. And I planted some seeds today for flowers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to grow or not. There are some I had to hurriedly plant because uh, I, I got them from a friend and the bulbs were molding. And I didn't, I didn't know, so I was like, oh no. I tried to salvage them and I planted what I could. So we'll see, we'll see if anything grows. <laughs> That's like with anything I, I plant ever. Well, you know, I just will, we'll see if anything happens with this, I don't freaking know. Okay, so I'm undecided. It would probably look nicer if I uh, glued something on both sides. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do both sides. Frick! I'm gonna see if I have a lighter color, because whatever side I write on, I feel like I should obviously have, you know, lighter paper. Oh, I thought I had stationery down here. Okay, I don't want to dig through all that. 
I have too much crap. Ooh, there's white in here. I think that might be good. I mean, it's a little bold, but it's okay. Maybe I'll start, I'll glue these down because I don't want both sides to be wet when I'm gluing all my pieces down. So if I already have one side glued, uh, that will eliminate that problem. Well, if the glue will come out, is this really how you're gonna be? Ooh, ooh, that's kind of crunchy. Maybe I should get another glue card. Once too much glue gets on your glue card, um, it just gets really hard and kind of crusty, and then it makes it harder to spread around the glue. I try to use it for as long as I can, but I don't know, it gets to a certain point. I'm like, yeah, then this is dead. Where is my stuff? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. No, no! Ah, freak, it's gone. Whatever. I didn't need you anyway. I'm just feeling like, at, first of all, my wit's end. Second of all, my creative end. I just, like, I don't know how to describe it. You know, you just feel a certain amount of tired, and it's even, like, a mental tired, and it's, I don't know, just, I'm just, like, trying to get by here. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop the recording here for now, because, I mean, you've seen, you saw what I did. Uh, I'm just, I have my one circle template. I've cut all these out, all of these out, and then I'm gonna cut out my white paper with the same template, and I'm gonna, obviously, I glued it here, gonna glue the white one to the other side. That's it. So, um, I want to listen to music, so I'm gonna do that while I finish this up, because this is gonna be the same thing, whatever, you don't need to see all this. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, hello, I'm back. I'll just quickly show you what I did. Okay, so here is our stack. Um, we've got quotes from my story, basically, stupid jokes that I had to make up myself, and um, like lore stuff from my story. So I have all of those, and then I have, well, these were like leftover star pieces from when, where I was cutting out the circles. Um, so I did reuse that those paper pieces. I thought, oh, that'll that'll go in the. I'm calling it a garland. I don't know if that's what it's called. I I can't think of what it's called. And yes, I do have the internet available to me to try and look it up. But what do I really want to do that? I'm typing in that garland thing that hangs the dangly the dangly hang thing. What are those called? I don't I don't want to try and figure that out. No, thank you. I think you know what I'm talking about. And if not, the end result will speak for itself. So. My stick is way over there. I was going to show you, and d too late. Also, it's a stick, so you don't really have to see it. I should hope you know what that looks like. Now, now what I have before me are some, you know, pieces. <laughs> I'm going to paint them. I, I know. Why am I doing this to myself? I, I don't know. So, so Buddy Dead, uh, his colors, I would say, are more... He can be a little flamboyant, but his standard stuff is like sepia tones, red and blue. Um, I think his most out there suit that I have him in is like, I think it was lavender and he had a pink tie, but he rarely wears that one, or I rarely draw him in that one. So I'm saying is his style is all over the place, um, but his basics, again, I would say are like maybe like well in terms of colors outside of brown because I picture him in brown a lot uh, but I already have a lot of brown pieces cardboard itself is you know brown so why why paint something brown when I can just leave one side brown and paint the other one whatever color I want and yes I had considered wrapping these in paper but that would take me an ungodly amount of time, and I only have, again, two days. So, we are settling for painting. And I say settling for, but like, it's still... I mean, you gotta paint, gotta let the paint dry, you gotta set this aside, gotta do something else while the paint dries. And then, if I'm gonna be ambitious and flip it over and paint the other side, I hate these plastic things. You know what? Frick you. Whoever was at Joanne Fabrics and decided to 
take advantage of the fact that these used to be perforated and you'd rip them open and just squirt paint over the their sample pages they used to have out. Frick you, you ruined it for everybody. And now I always break my fingernails trying to open these stupid paint bottles. <gasps> oh my gosh, my paintbrush almost fell in my... Not, it's not just milk, it's like a tea latte if you really want to know. A tea latte. Um, what? Oh, yeah. I just ranted about needing to open that. I was like, what am I holding? What was I doing with this? Oh my gosh. See, and I closed this curtain because it's a little dark. And I didn't want people to be able to look through my window and like see me up here. Not that it really matters, but you know, it's still weird. So starting with, I don't have any black. All I have, the only color I have to work with that's close to black is pavement. Nice, I know. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little mix. I'm gonna have pavement, king's gold, and then some crimson. I had this blue out here, but I'm, I don't know if I'm feeling blue for this garland. I think warm tones better suit Buddy. So, do any of you write anyone who's watching? I, this stupid train, as soon as I, well, I guess it was going kind of before I started talking, but I'm like, I sat down and I was going to do a video and this stupid train's interrupting me. If I was rich, I would cancel it. Gosh, where was my train of thought? Oh, uh, if any of you are writers, uh, I just wonder how many people, like, uh, do like big timelines when they write like uh at first when I was making all my stories I thought they were all going to be separate entities but there's started to be similar themes in some of my my stuff which in my plots uh most consistently being monsters and I was like man I'm gonna have monsters in every story and they're all kind of similar because you know it's my brain they aren't gonna all be super like different and unique every time like I'll make them as unique as I can but they'll always have a touch of me in there because you know I'm the only one doing this shit I know some people do like every book is connected and then other people like like everything's just a separate story I guess I was just curious like what kind of author are you like do, do you like to keep all your stories separate or like just like you do a trilogy and that's the only spot these characters show up in or are you more like there's a bigger scheme going on here and like there's you know that meme of that guy who's got he looks like crazy eyes and he's got that the threads connecting all over his map and he's like I don't know like gesturing to it like look at all this stuff like I feel like that's how my brain is like I'm the insane man <laughs> with all of my stories and all the plots like interconnecting and all these characters like he'll show up in this book and then over here in this book and someone else's story and then over here in this other story and it's just out of control so anyway are you unhinged <laughs> or do you try to keep things more organized I always want to be organized but I always end up like veering over into unhinged territory it, for some reason that's the only way I actually get anything done example two days and I'm doing all this crap anyway I don't know if I mentioned this I know I talked about I was painting stuff for the library I don't know if I said what they were um, I have a couple pictures on my phone so if I remember to like send them to myself I'll put them up now they're having like a Mario week so I was painting the first one I did was Bowser and I had a, obviously I had a reference so I tried my best to, to stick to his pose and to the style which was there was no shading um, and Bowser was like I don't know if I ever told you this that one drawing I had to do of Godzilla that was so hard I'm used to drawing like anime people and like kind of I draw kind of monsters but they're more hum humanoid right so like trying to draw Bowser and like get his anatomy to look right I was having a really hard time so I was trying really hard to get Bowser's anatomy right but like when you're making because Bowser's kind of humanoid but like he has the big turtle shell on his back and his limbs aren't like a person's they're more you know like an alligator's or I guess a dragon would work, but 
you know, when I'm looking at his facial features and his teeth and stuff, he reminds me of an alligator or crocodile. Uh, not gonna lie, don't know the difference. I've looked it up several times and every time I forget the difference. So, um, that being said, he, to me, he leans more towards looking animal-y, and I'm not very good at drawing animals. So, uh, he was... So he was the hardest one to paint, even though he looks the most basic because, again, I didn't do any shading. I just left him be, because uh, as soon as I was done, because it took me forever, and I was like, yep, Bowser's done. I'm not doing anything else. Like, that's it. So then next I painted Daisy, and I had more fun doing that because I do like drawing like pretty women. So, uh, I had a lot of fun, I had a lot of fun painting her, and as you can see in the picture, if I'm showing the picture, um, I did do a little shading on her, and not a ton, cause I, I'm like on a time crunch, so I'm trying not to be too much, uh, which is really hard for me to not be extra, um, so I, you know, I did a little bit of shading, and I tried to call it a day, like, I wasn't super happy with the flowers I painted around her, because I, I was just trying to add, like, an accent, and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I like that. But it was too late, I painted it, and I gave it to the library. Um, but otherwise, I, I liked it, and I thought, you know, it's gonna be given away for free, I'm not getting any money from this, so it's not a huge deal that it's not perfect. And then, then I painted Rosalina, and I honestly don't know that much about her. Uh, all I know is that for some reason I really like her design. So uh, I had a lot of fun painting her. And believe it or not, when it, by looking at it at least, uh, maybe you can tell. I, I even tried to keep Rosalina basic, but that didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I, I really did try to simplify it and not do as much shading but I actually was having a really good time painting her, so I did go a little bit of an extra mile. I think that that canvas, even though it was small, it took me like four hours. And I was like, why, why are you doing this? And this, in my genius brain, I was thinking, um, I'm gonna cram this week. I'm gonna paint all this Mario stuff I'm supposed to paint, and then I'm gonna do all this for my cousin. Like, I'm gonna finish all of that in two days, and then I'll have the rest of the week to do this. What was I thinking? I had like six canvases. <laughs> and on top of that, I'm trying to like paint some rocks because they're doing like a scavenger hunt and painting like Mario on these rocks. Holy crap, I have so many rocks. So many rocks. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what goes on in my head where I think I can do all this stuff and then like I start putting it into motion I'm like, wow, four hours passed and I only finished one thing. And then the next day comes and, like, in my head I know it's Wednesday. Uh, and that I'm supposed to have this stuff done for my cousin and... But it just, it didn't, like, click until I was talking to somebody and I was like, wait a second, Wednesday? That means tomorrow's Thursday, that means the next day's Friday, and that means, <laughs> like, I should have my stuff done. So, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. It simultaneously feels like I do too much and not enough at the same time. And so I keep adding on stuff for me to do onto my own list and it just like overwhelms me, but I can't stop. And I know what you're thinking, Beth, you don't have to do all this <laughs> for your cousin. Like you could have just like, cause I was having him over for breakfast and I was like, oh, I'll cook him breakfast for his birthday. Like, why are you doing all this extra stuff? You never said you would do the extra stuff, so why are you doing it? I don't know. In my head, I feel like I said I would do it, so in that sense, I like I'm committed, you know? So, whatever. Don't ask me how my brain works. I don't know. And I keep wanting to polish my nails. This is like side note, but I keep painting and crafting and all this crap, and I'm just like... My hands are always like a mess. When, when, Beth, are you gonna have time or when is it gonna be like a good idea to polish your nails? Never, never. But I just feel like they look so gross and I, where are my paper towels? 
Oh my gosh, they're all the way over here. Oh. <sighs> anyway, that's why my nails haven't been polished in a long time. They need it though, or I would like them to have it. But alas, I am a dirty peasant doing my dirty peasant things. So I don't have this like fully plotted out in my head, but um, I'm thinking I, I should be able to thread a needle through this cardboard on the sides. Uh, I'm assuming I'll have to like tie knots somewhere as I'm going. I don't really see this is where I don't have the full scope of what I'm doing. I just have this general idea. Um, I'm hoping I can thread them on and that knotting the thread is not going to somehow be an issue because something's always an issue for me. But if I can somehow make it not an issue, I thread it, I knot it, and I make my long garlandy string crap, uh, it should work. It should be fine. But you know, we'll see. Okay, I like this pavement color in case you're wondering because one, it's going on matte, and two, I only have to have one coat. I'll probably still only do one coat. I just wish like that yellow was thicker, but I guess yellow paint is usually a little thin. But the, the duller look might be kind of more rustic, old fashioned. That is kind of how I see Buddy dead. Um, and I don't know how many pieces I'm gonna need because my, my stick is very long. So I was thinking cousin also likes my character who goes by the name of Troy. Um, I did show you that small doodle of him in the first clip, didn't I? Anyway, that's Troy. Uh, uh, I don't know, he likes him. So I could do same stuff I did for Buddy with quotes, uh, not jokes because Troy has no sense of humor, um, something else, and Frick, what was the other one? Lore. Except I don't have that much lore on Troy because I kind of made him last year. Like, that's when I designed him. I don't know, I just... I didn't really have a, a need for him in stories or anything. I was just like, I want to design cute anime boys, so there we go. That's, that's what I did. I keep almost dipping my brush in my tea. Oh, I put so much black paint in there. Why did I do that? I do everything in excess. I always tell myself, hey, you just need a little bit. You don't, you don't need that much. And then I proceed to use way too much. <gasps> not on my black, not on my pavement. Oh boy. So I, I'm thinking I am going to need a lot of these tiny pieces that I'm painting right now. If anything, they'll be good filler. No, I got yellow speckles on my pavement. It's not supposed to look like a road. I mean, that would be a yellow stripe, but you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, and I have yellow on my red. It looks like McDonald's. Get out of here. Oh, I act like my desk is sacred and I it didn't mean to get paint on there. I got red on my pavement. Uh, Oh my gosh, don't look at me using my finger. No one cares, it's cardboard. You know, I'm actually, these chunks I have over here, not this with the tape on it, but I'm gonna just paint these, these other pieces, and uh, I will cut them accordingly when I need them. Oh no, my hair. Okay, anyways, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut, I'm going to paint these, these whole big chunks, and I won't be able to paint the, the sides of all of them like I was doing with those, but I think it'll just be easier if I paint in big chunks and then cut them into smaller pieces. And uh, I don't know, I just, in my head, I feel like that'll go quicker than me firstly cutting everything and then piece by piece painting them and flipping them all over. I don't know, that just sounds like more work. I don't really know what I'm talking about though. So do what you want if you decide to do this. I say that as though this is like a tutorial, but I mean, follow along if you want, but like none of us know what we're doing here. I'm just painting. <gasps> no! <sighs> it put, put pavement on my king's gold. 
don't even know what I was saying. Follow along or don't. Whatever. I don't care. Save up your Amazon packages. Buy this cheap ass paint from Walmart for like a dollar. And if you, you really feel like you want to go the extra mile, like if you want to spend that extra coin and like you want to mod podge this stuff, I mean, go for it. That'll make it last longer. I just said not to use that one. Put it away. So I was thinking I just threw out a bunch of fragment pieces because I was like, this is too much. I can't keep all this stuff. But now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should use it. Oh. I can't be wasteful. I can't do it. Well, actually, uh, we're... I might be a little wasteful. This right here, don't need it. Garbage. Like, all these tiny pieces, I, I've been trying to use up, uh, like, that, that one book cover I made that I made kind of kaleidoscope-y, and, uh, I painted all over it. Like, that was, that was my way of trying to use up these tiny pieces, but I don't know, that's just so much to save. And kind of the problem is that these are all similar shapes, so I really... I guess I could mix it up, though. Some of these could be triangles, whatever. Hold on. Nope, it's gone. The vision I had, dead. Yeah, so for my jokes, coin stuff, I tried looking up, like, look up funny jokes. They were like, the whole list, all of them, all 200. They were stupid jokes that I feel like I told my friends when I was in elementary school. Like, we really couldn't update this, we couldn't, you know, swap it out, do something a little different. I guess not. So that being said, uh, I couldn't just do the easy way and look up jokes. I had to think of my own. So will they be funny? Who knows? They're probably just as corny and stupid, let's be honest. I'm not mad, but a little disappointed that it was raining, and so I thought, quick, turn on the camera and have that rain ambience. And, like, as soon as I turn it on, the rain stops. Like, guys, come on. I was trying to have, like, a mood going. So now I'm stuck with my, my regular mood, with which is just, like, chaos. Speaking of chaos, sometimes I feel like it'd be fun to play Sims and post stuff here, but I don't... I don't know if my laptop would be able to handle, like, running Sims as well as screen recording. Because whenever my whenever I turn on Sims, like, al almost immediately the fan starts going I'm like, oh man, she's working hard. I'm like, I haven't even, like, pressed play yet. I don't know why you're freaking out. It's just So I've gotten back into playing Sims a little bit. Not a lot, though. Um, and by play sims, I actually mean I just like building stuff, to be honest with you. I feel like that might be how a lot of simmers are. Like, um, I, I try to do gameplay, I try to like use the stuff I make, but honestly, I just... That's not the same color. Why did you do that? Too late. Yeah, I built like two more random houses and I think, well, that might have been it. I think it's funny. People only download the stuff because I'll upload it to the gallery because my laptop is so finicky. Sometimes it'll just like corrupt all my files on Sims and like everything I made is like gone forever. So I I'll build something and I'll almost immediately upload it to the gallery just so I always have it. Um, so I just think it's funny like the only time people usually download my stuff is when there's it's like cheap which is how I would do it, I guess. It, Cause you know, when you start out in Sims, you only have like 20,000 simoleons. And then, you know, you have to build a whole livable hovel with that amount of money. So you want something cheaper to start out with. That or, I, I don't really pay attention. I just use whatever I have and I have bought packs. So, um, some of mine, I have probably like a dozen packs per house or build that I do, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably why no one's downloading this. I used way too much stuff in it, which like fair, understandable. Uh, I'm kind of the same way when it comes to certain 
certain builds I like. Because I swear, any any build I find that I like and I want to download, like, every single time, there's one pack in there that's, like, the main one they used and it's one I don't have. I'm like, guys, you got it. You're killing me. You know, I just, just wanted this house and now I have to rebuild half of it. I think maybe I will, again, I'll sign off again here because... Basically what I've been doing is what I'm going to continue to do. Uh, paint pieces and like these half circle ones I cut slits in because I want to put them together like that. So that's basically it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the rest of this as much as I can. And then um, if by some miracle I get the pieces done and I want to start sewing, I could show you some of that, uh, but I'm not making any promises because who knows, I might crash soon. My body are already hurts from like sitting upright in this chair for so long. So um, anyways, maybe I'll be back. Maybe I'll just show you a picture of it being done because I'm wiped out, who knows. Anyways, I will see you later. Okay, hi. Um. Ignore my my messy space if you can see it. Um, I was trying to lay out this garland. Again, don't know if that's actually what this is called. Don't care. But I started sewing part of this. Sorry, my dumbass took a screenshot and it ended my video. Anyways, um, I started sewing this and I was using a needle. But what I didn't realize is that... Uh, this needle is shorter than this this coin, so I I was using this. I use this to poke holes in my junk journals and stuff. So I had to kind of like pre poke holes on both ends so that I could fit the needle through, and even then it wouldn't like fall through. So I had to use this this again and like poke the needle down through the disc. Um, a little tedious. I would recommend either a longer needle or if you're making these make them smaller than the needle you have so they're easier to like poke the holes through or or um if you don't cover the edges or even if you did you could probably do this um oops sorry i'm out of frame on the edges of the cardboard they have their own holes in them already and had i thought this through properly um I would have just done that because the, the needle slips right through those holes. But uh, of course I did it like almost completely opposite so I had to poke the whole thing myself. Um, it's just going to take me longer to do it this way. So pro tip, uh, keep that in mind if you decide to make one of these for yourself. Okay and one more tip that I just remembered. Um, my fingers also are like they feel sweaty sometimes you know and I'm trying to pull the needle through and it won't move. So what I did, I had some of this washi tape and I just wrapped it like backwards around my hand, sticky side out. Um, or I just kind of loosely uh, fold it over the needle and pull it through. That gave me the, um, the grip I needed to get, to get it through all these holes. Anyways, I think that's all the tips I have for you thus far. Okay, little update. Um... As with anything, I, <laughs> I'm i spending too much time on this. It's taking so long. Um, if I like had the mental space to think of this beforehand, um, I, I would have just made enough pieces to fill in all these gaps because what's taking me extra long is um, tying these knots, trying to keep the pieces semi-separate so I have the length that I want. Um, but cutting out pieces wasn't that hard. I, I should have just cut more, but at this point, uh, I can't do that because I are, I already have this setup going and I need to keep it consistent. So I have six more rows to do. It's just, it's taking forever. But um, anyways, maybe the next clip will be of it finished and that will be that.